Hey, cute stuff. Hey, welcome to another message with me, the Duchess. So let's see what spirit wants you to know today. Give us insight here. What's the message for the beautiful collective? Look at this health focus. So I heard here, healthy life, honey, everything going good. This means healthy friendships, healthy relationships, okay? Healthy money flow. Yes, yes, yes. Healthy thought processes, healthy body, healthy, all of that healthy communication. What are we talking about, spirit? What's getting healthy here? What's getting healthy? Oh, okay. So where there's been some issues here when it comes to your relationships or your family, things are getting on track, okay? So you're about to be going through this period of time here where if there's been friction and for some of y'all I'm hearing this is mother to daughter friction this is a relationship friction like maybe in your marriage or in your commitment um friction here with other family members like for each person the story is different but whatever's been going wrong here in your family dynamics it's like things are about to turn yes because they're saying this is major this is something that's been weighing heavy on your heart this is something that has been stressing you that has been really just making you sad and spirit is saying at the bottom of the deck is because you're really focused on your future you're focused on your happiness so what's happening is things are turning and shifting so whatever dynamics that have been going on if there's been fussing and arguing if there's been disagreements okay if there's been nothing but problems even i'm hearing even when there's been backstabbing and lying honey okay this stuff is about to get healed like things are starting to work out now that doesn't mean you gotta trust somebody now if they back stabbing you and lying you don't you don't got to trust them but you can you know have them in your life this is really reminding me here of my connection with my daughter's father we had an unhealthy um connection for lots of years like maybe <laughs> 15 years and we finally got things on track we're actually really cool okay so it can happen for anybody spirit give us insight here what's going on what's getting on track what's going on here we got the two of coins yes so your connections are coming into balance when it comes to your family connections okay so if you felt like maybe you've been um misguided judged misunderstood it's like you're able to get on the same page there's forward movement here there's balance the chariot is all about balance just like when you're riding a bike you have to balance right and it's also some of that same energy here is this two of coins so there's this element here of moving forward in a more balanced energy and with that that brings a lot of success a lot of happiness look at this a six of cups yes it's like that nostalgic feeling like happy again loving again friendly again right so it's like if you've been down and out with a certain person here that you have a close bond close relationship with it's like you guys are getting back to the basics you know what i'm saying with the six of cups we get back to the basics we're not worrying about what what happened in the past we're not worried about the negativity we releasing all of that and we're focused on that positive energy we're focused on positive memories we're focused on building and growing here and being more of a solid unit yeah will of fortune so it's all about forward movement right now i'm hearing that this is really going to be like a weight off your shoulders because it's been weighing you down like i'm hearing sleepless nights overthinking really stressed pressed about it worried about it but it's like you no longer are gonna have to feel that way uh-uh no it's like the tides are turning so if you're like well we haven't talked in forever. Well, you're about to talk it out. Okay. Well, you know, every time we talk, we can't get on the same page. Well, it looks like something in the energy is shifting so you can get on the same page. Yes. Yeah, see, the seven of swords is these, these energies of not being on the same page, having all this mental friction, having all this sense of um, not even being able to show up as truly yourself and, and communicate from your heart space. But now that's all shifting and changing. And I know it can be like, well only when hell freezes over right but hey like i told you it's happened to me so i'm not necessarily i couldn't it wouldn't shock me okay at this point it would have shocked me if you would have said this a year ago but it don't shock me now so they're saying here that there's this air of defensiveness that's really leaving the air which clears the air so that there can be a sense of unity versus a sense of yeah, protecting yourself, defensiveness, feeling like enemies, feeling like maybe you're at war, right? It's like none of that energy. Instead, all of the focus is much more on 
How can we defend our connection? How can we defend the unity between us? So another example here, me and my younger sister, we don't talk very much because we see we don't see eye to eye on spiritual things. So we're just opposites. There's no beef or nothing. But, you know, over time, we decided to try to bring more health to the connection, be, you know, friendlier, more intimate, open up, have discussions. So there's energy here where there's definitely some dynamics changing for the good. Yeah. And it's a major shift too with the tower because the tower is all about breaking things down to build up a new. So the connection that you're building here in this sense won't be the same as before. And it's because it's like, it's brand new, right? So if you weren't getting along, if you couldn't see eye to eye, if you couldn't even communicate without maybe getting into an argument, a disagreement, whatever. Okay. That's changing. It's completely a new situation completely new but spirit is saying because you're also acting completely new you're new you've been through a lot of spiritual growth you're a lot more aware i just heard the word awareness yes you're a lot more independent and loving on yourself so it's like spirit is saying you ain't taking things personally you're not taking things as a heavy burden anymore with this situation you're very light-hearted easy flowing when it comes to all of this and so this brings this energy here of a lot of passion and great communication. The King of Wands definitely represents great communication, okay? And the Empress, yes, 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 and yes, growth. Growth. Getting along, again, temperance, okay? We're going to take this. Temperance. So, if you've been feeling hopeless, this is your reminder. There's nothing to be hopeless about. What's going on here? Give us more. What's being healed here? Okay, so it looks like healing your connections is now a priority. Okay, this is a priority. So maybe something has really shifted in life. Maybe there's been major changes. Maybe there's been loss. Maybe there's been, you know, breakdowns and things here where we need to prioritize making these relationships healthy. Okay, and, and not just kind of saying who cares. Especially Spirit is saying if you've been dealing with nothing, but it seems like all your connections are toxic here, this is the time to open yourself up to something more. And it is a time here where this is like, it's like divine time. And I even heard inevitable, which makes sense with this tower, okay? Towers are definitely inevitable. Unless you create one, you can also create a tower. But if the tower is coming, you really can't stop it. You can't stop a tower. I've tried. You can run from it for a little bit, but it's going to find you and it's going to come. Okay. It's going to happen. So with this here, it's like they're saying that the time has come for this shift, for this change. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like you are the leader of this. You're taking charge of this. And this is because you are trusting in your own divine guidance. Something in you is telling you that it's time to make a change, that it's time to solve the problems, that it's time to open up your heart space, open up your space to love, to understanding, to communication. Tell us more here, Spirit. What do they need to know about healing this family unit? We got speaking your mind again. Yes, communication, communication, communication. So this is about expressions and opening up. And so this could be in a sense of speaking up on where you feel like you need to be vindicated, just expressing your feelings, but not in a way to where it's, you know, negative, but in a way to where it's just open. This could just be expressing a, a missing of someone, right? Speaking truths, being open, being vulnerable. This could be expressing, you know, the reason I haven't been talking to you is because so and so and so, because some of us be passive aggressive. I know I've done it plenty of times. Don't even say what's wrong. Just stop talking to the person. No, 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 no. Okay. There's going to be discussions here that bring things to a positive conclusion and we got learn from life yes and this is because you've learned lots of lessons again this comes from a sense of growth so you are 50 percent of this process and you are the one bringing a lot of 50 percent of the healing right to this process so if you decide to back off because i mean like i said free will is is there if you decide to pop off back off decide not to follow through that's on you you don't want a healthy connection or friendship relationship uh family whatever this is okay you don't uh, if, if you pop off, then that means you didn't really want that this bad. That's on you. But the opportunity is here 
for things to heal, for you to grow, for you to learn, for you to not linger in that type of energy that doesn't make you happy. Yes, yeah, a time of inspiration and being courageous to dare to step into a new world and do things differently because doing things this way will surely bring you your happiness because spirit is saying deep down in your heart and soul, you want to heal this connection. You want to heal this relationship. And so if you don't, you will always feel like you are missing something or you are yearning for something or you wish you would have did something, shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? But why do that when you can just hop right on in right now to this invitation, uh-huh, and allow things to flow, get healthy, get beautiful, trust the feelings in your body that's telling you it's time for a change, baby. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, let me know all the details, all right? And go ahead and uh, check out my website. We got lots of goodies linked below, and I'll talk to you later, boo. Bye.